So a positive role model to me is finding someone who has the same values as you do. I think the problem with like modern day and stuff is we see a lot of stuff on social media. We see people with the money, the flash cars, the lifestyles that we think we want to live. And then we try and align our values with that. But I think a lot of people don't take enough time to work out their own values and what's really important to them and what means something to them. I think more people should start taking this route and really identifying what means the most to them, how they want to live their life and find out what their values are. Because then what they can do with that is they can find that specific role model that's going to align with them and their values more. Because when you start going into that side of things, you can find someone who's been where you are currently right now and has got to where you want to go in the future. Then they can help you with their struggles. They can tell you about what they failed with, what they succeeded with. And then that's all going to have a positive impact on you and align correctly with your values and be able to provide you the much needed direction that you need. So to support my own physical well-being, I massively prioritise my sleep. Now I know this sounds a little bit silly, but sleep is just so important. I'm such a princess when it comes to my sleep that if someone asks me to do something in the weekday, particularly in the evening, I'm a bit hesitant with it. I'm like, oh, what time is it going to finish? Because if it's getting close to that cutoff point where I need to be in bed, I'm getting a bit anxious because I know I've got to get the same time the next day, but I'm going to sleep later, so therefore my sleep's affected. And I know it sounds a little bit silly, but I know the difference in my body when I don't get in enough sleep. When I don't get my full seven and a half hours, the next day my energy's depleted, my motivation's down, physically I feel exhausted, my hunger's up, and we've got all these other elements to then battle. But when we really prioritize our sleep and make sure we get to the bed at the same time every single night, we feel so much better so you can wake up and really tackle the day as best as you can. And again, this may sound silly, but people always set an alarm to wake up yet they never do when they go to sleep. So they may go bed two, three hours later, but their alarm clock's still the same the next day. So they've sacrificed their sleep. So I think it's quite important to make sure we have a regimented sleep time as well as an awake time, just so we can get enough sleep. I also massively prioritize my training, my nutrition and my hydration because again, I know when I'm taking care of myself, I'm looking after myself, I'm giving my body the best nourishment it can possibly receive, again, I just feel so much better and that helps me. When I'm working with clients, they can come into the gym, they can be feeling a little bit down, they can be feeling lethargic and just generally stressed. They're, by the end of the session, they're just completely a different person from just that one session in training in the gym. Like, they're a lot more energized when they leave, despite just having a grueling workout. They're um, a lot happier, they're a lot more feeling positive because they've done something to help with themselves. So I think it's super important that we do look after our physical health through all these different aspects. And even if our body is like 2% dehydrated, it massively affects our cognitive function as well as our um, energy levels. So I think that looking after your sleep, your training, your nutrition, and then your hydration is just super important. And that's, why, uh, that's where I focus on my physical health. I think it's super important that we celebrate International Men's Day because right now it is a crisis out there, men's mental health. And I say the word crisis simply because if we statistically look, men are more likely to die from suicide than anything else right now, which is super scary. So it is a massive crisis that needs to be addressed and we need to shine light on it more. Not just for people to be aware of it, but for those people who are going through it right now that they know there's somewhere to turn, there's someone to look out for, where they can get some advice and get some support. So I think it's really important and positive that we're doing these sorts of things to bring light to it and trying to help people find like their motivation to be able to reach out and speak to someone so they can feel better. And um, so yeah, I just think it's super important that we shine as much light on it as, po as possible and show that it is okay for people to reach out and talk to others and that everyone does go through a little phase at sometimes, but having that support there is gonna be massively important to helping those people on recovery. So I believe my positive mental attitude stems from working on progressing every single day and working towards my purpose. I know that when I'm working towards being the best version I possibly can be and the best version I'm going to become, I'm just mentally amazing. I'm waking up fired every single day. I'm happy. I'm motivated. 
versus when I don't think about these things and work towards these things. I feel a bit stagnant. I don't feel good in myself because I'm not progressing. I'm just living every day as it comes and nothing's changing. But when I'm really focused and dialed in on working, on progressing all the time, and really working towards my purpose, again, my, my motivation is just amazing and my energy and everything comes across because I know I'm being the best version I can possibly be and I'm working to be an even better version, which just does wonders for how I feel. My top tips for anyone that's struggling with mental health right now is to firstly work out your values and what's important to you. Once you start working at your values and what means a lot to you and what really inspires you, you'll feel a lot more motivated every single day. I think when you're living your life by someone else's values that you see on social media, see on TV, it almost naturally doesn't feel right, so you don't feel great in yourself. Whereas when you really sit down, work out your values and what really means the most to you, you feel inspired every single day so you can work towards those values too. I think it's super important that we also take care of our physical health. Physical health and mental health completely go hand in hand because if you feel good, then that portrays into your mindset and how you feel as well. So I think really focusing on trying to um, be more active, it doesn't necessarily have to be going to the gym, but just being more active, feeling fitter is going to make you feel better. By working on what you put in your body, so nutritionally, you're going to feel better because you're gonna have more energy from those types of foods that you're putting in your body. Sleep is massively important. If you don't get sufficient sleep, the next day, one, your hormones are out of alignment, so that affects you, and then two, your energy is massively down. When this happens, not only are you more hungry, not more are you less of energy, you're really struggling with the next day because it's more difficult. And then we also need to make sure that we're working on our hydration every single day as well, because even if we're 2% dehydrated, our cognitive function, our energy drops. So if you think about a com combination of all of these things, then we can really see how much it takes an effect on your mental health. If you're feeling lethargic, feeling demotivated, feeling unfit, this is going to feel, this is going to come off in how you feel mentally. So this is something important to look into. I also think it's really important to take note that testosterone is a key component in how we feel. Now, what I mean by this is if you're currently overweight, if you're not getting enough sleep, if you're not getting enough sunlight and not training or not, this suppresses your testosterone levels. When this happens, this